It is a good day for gardening. So, enough daydreaming. I was thinking of refreshing these pots. Because as you can see, the, the plants that are in here don't look so happy. Well, some of them are. But what I was thinking of doing is uh, I could remove this, replace it with another plant, and maybe this Fred Ives. This is a raindrops which had extensive fungal infestation and coupled with cold damage. As a result, most of its leave leaves just fell off and rotted away. So only a few remained. It's still alive. But it's funny because now it looks like a leaf pop. Huh. Anyway, I'm thinking of keeping this Pearl von Nunberg here as well as that. I think that's a. Is that a Dorothy? Yeah, I think that's a Dorothy. This Kante up in the top. Because this grows big, but I might have to replace the soil. Yeah, I might, I might just do that. I'm thinking of remo removing the two of these, the, the raindrops and the Fred Ives. Because the Fred Ives is getting quite leggy. And it is typical for you know for this cultivar to go to go really long. So I'm going to remove this because I want all of them, all of the, the plants in these pots to be compact and just pretty short and close to the pot. So yep. A refresh is in order. I've been going over my plants to, to look for suitable replacements and I've settled with this too. This is a Lazarus and this is a Domingo. So these two, I'm pretty happy with having them here because they have too, too much leaves. It makes nice contrast against the, the larger cultivars around it. So it's a compact. Both, both of these are compact rosettes and it goes along with the theme of the, the other two where I have the Dorothy in the left and the Pearl von Nunberg in the middle. So they all have dense leaves, well high density of leaves. So these two will fit along nicely. To kick things off, I might have to start with the larger pot with the Kante and since it's just at the edge. I think I might be able to just pull it out, pull the whole pot out. Might be easier to work on it that way. So I'll go ahead and do that. Yep, some of the, the rocks are eroding, but that's all right. I can easily put them back. Looks like they can't uh, survive winter, but it's still quite sad. Well, that's what you expect for plants that go dormant. Anyway, once I, I'm done with this, well, what I'm thinking of doing here is to replace the soil because this seemed to have compacted and at the same time, uh, I'll have to plant this more properly and yeah, uh, to mitigate the effects of compaction again, I'm going to top dress the soil here. That way the water would not sit the water would not sit around and make the, the particles settle. So this is what I'm going to do first. So I moved the pot to my propagation station. This is going to make it easier for me to work because it's at waist level and I can use proper proper body mechanics when I need to lift stuff around. All right, first step is to remove the Kante from the pot. So I'll just go loosen up the roots. I don't think the root ball was large when I potted this up. We'll see. Yep. It went out easily. 
uh, it looks like it hasn't established that much yet but it's understandable because we just came from winter so I'm just going to clean this up remove all of the soil and then plant it back in I have removed all of the bottom leaves the ones that are dry apart from those that I have removed it looks pretty healthy maybe just needing a little bit of drink since it's it has awakened already after all but we'll have to plant this first as I mentioned earlier I need to replace the soil so first I'm going to dump this there looks like I had some pebbles at the bottom no wonder it was heavy now that I've completely emptied the pot I can start replacing the soil with my new batch just going to start just pouring in keep doing so until I almost fill it up just if you remember the root ball and the kante wasn't too big anyway okay this should be enough for now and the next thing I'm going to do is to re reserve the space for the kante so hopefully this is still loose looks pretty loose Alright, now I'll need to add more soil. What I'm doing is I'm starting deep and just working my way my way upwards. This way the roots don't get you know just flattened up at the top. They start at the deeper ends, the deeper parts. And while I slowly pull the kante upwards, the roots will uh, the roots will stay and lengthen and they won't get too crowded in one spot. So I'll keep adding soil until I reach the desired height. I think I should be using the other one, the flat, the flatter one. This one. Alright, now I'm going to pull it up, just pull it gently a bit more, there, and I'm going to create a small mound again. should be good enough and as for top dressing I'm still trying to de decide if I want to use the, the finer pebbles or maybe the larger ones I'll take a moment to think about it so as I was saying I'm trying to decide whether I want the, the fine texture or a larger texture medium sized pebbles since this is quite a young plant, maybe I'll go with the smaller smaller rocks for now. Yeah, I think this is a good idea. So first, I'm going to just prepare the levels of the soil. So right now they are not even. 
I want them to be pretty even, although with a small mound still. Because that way, the mound will force water to flow over to the sides, away from the plant. And that's what I'm going to do now. Just get more. This is where a deep, uh, deeper scoop is useful because it allows you to carry more pebbles. So I'll keep adding until I no longer see any of the soil. It doesn't really matter if your pebbles follow the contours of the soil or not. The important th thing is the soil underneath is sloped and the water will flow along the soil, not along the not necessarily along the, the rocks. Top dressing. I still see some empty spots here, so yep, I'm going to fill those up. Just a few more. Alright, I'm happy with how this is now. The next thing I'll be doing is to set it back. So before I do that, I'll just make sure that the space where it used to be still is enough. Because if you remember when I pulled the pot out, some of these lava pebbles fell, fell into the hole. So I... I just have to make sure that I remove them so that I can still fit the, the pot in. Alright. I'm now going to set the pot. But I have to be careful of where I'm standing. Just turning it around because I want the presentable side to be the facing front. I think this is the good side. There. It's a bit curly right now, but yeah, maybe this side. Yeah, this is good enough. I'm thinking that maybe I should do the same with the other pots. So I'll have to pull them out. I just have to make sure that I remove the, the lava rocks first because otherwise they will fall in like how they did the first one. I'm a bit concerned about the soil as well but you know what at this rate maybe I'll just redo the whole thing. Yeah I'll pull them up. Hopefully the middle one stays and doesn't fall over. And one more. Yep, the middle one is intact. <laughs> so let's do this. All right, here we are. These are the four pots that I want to refresh. And these two are the replacements. And let's see. These two, I'll be swapping them out and as well as two of these so i'm going to start working on them a 
I'll work on the easy ones first, like this one, where I only have to replace the soil on this Pearl von Nunberg pot. I'm going to use my spades to loosen up the soil. It has quite a little, yeah, the root ball is small, but there are lots of tiny roots that are coming out. So the first thing that I'll be doing, as is per usual, is to remove the dead leaves. Yep, no more. I got all of them. I'll set it aside first, then loosen up the soil even more. So I can pour them into my wheelbarrow. Now, all I have to do is to fill it up again. I'll just mix this up for a bit. Just to loosen them more. And I can start filling it up again. Like with the Kante, uh, this has a small root ball. What I'm going to do is to fill it up almost all the way. and reserve the space and I'm going to slowly work my way upwards again so as before I'm going to hold it this way fill it up with soil it up a bit so I can create a mound then add a bit more soil I'll just work on the slopes, even them up. I think they're even now. And all I need to do is to add my top dressing. Unlike previously, um, the way it is now, it has a better grip of the soil, it has a better hold. So it would no longer be vulnerable to the strong winds that we're getting here once in a while. Because the strong winds almost uprooted some of them. So this should protect them for a while. done with the first one I'm going to do the same with the rest of them so bear with me as this will take a while
So here they are now. What I'm going to do next is to clean up the pots first and shower, shower the plants a bit. This way all of the soil and maybe some of the rocks would clump together for a bit. For a bit. That would make it easier for me to handle because I'm going to tilt some of them and I don't want them to er erode prematurely. So first, I'm taking my hose on jet setting. Oh, the jet setting. I'm going to wash away the soil. Just a light jet. Don't have to go so hard. Anything else? Alright. And now for the shower. So the goal is just to make the the soil and the pebbles clump together. That way any tilting or twisting that I would do would not dislodge any of the plants. Alright, now it's time to set the pots back in. Since I have two, two of them that look similar, this two, I'm probably going to I don't know, put them at the far ends of each other. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. So this one would go at the back. Somewhere here. I'm just removing the, the fallen pebbles here. Lava pebbles. Because otherwise, they would no longer fit. And the other one goes here, the far side. Yeah, maybe this way. So thanks to the spraying, the pebbles didn't move much while I was twisting the pot. So I guess that was a good idea. All right, there are two more plants to put in. So I'm holding the Pearl Wurtlandberg now. And I think I'm going to put it in this spot. There. And finally, the Domingo. I wonder which direction I'm going to make it face. Yeah, maybe this way. And we're done. I think it looks nice already. As for these two, I planted them into terracotta pots where they will spend the rest of their days happy hopefully if you're wondering why i top dress my soil it serves multiple purposes and not just aesthetic there's a lot of practical reasons for this as well but i'm going to i'm going to discuss this at length in another episode or so but for now i hope you found this video helpful.